What is the draw that gathers people from far and wide, traveling over miles of dirt roads, fording streams, opening and closing umpteen gates? What is the draw that gathers them to the middle of nowhere? These dandelion wine. Dandelion wine. These dandelion wine. The dandelion wine. The dandelion wine at this place is the best that it can be. And you have to be very careful when you take the second or third glass full that you can find the gate to get on your way back out. When I received the invitation from Miss V, the gypsy cowbell, to come to a dandelion wine tasting party, I had my bags packed and my husband and dog in the car before I looked at the map. I met V last year at the Cowboy Poetry Gathering in Elko where she was performing. Her show was terrific and her bio fascinated me. Living on a ranch in the wilds of Wyoming with no modern amenities, she is skilled at haying and logging with horses, sews with a treadle sewing machine, harvests her own elk each fall, and cans the remaining meat once it thaws in the spring. She goes into town to grocery shop once a year. She crafts her own plank banjos and makes dandelion wine. What makes dandelion wine is, uh, is the dandelions, the nice little yellow flowers that grew out in the field. And V goes out and picks them, and cleans them up, and makes her little special batch, and then shares it with all of us. The first thing I do is gather all my supplies and try to be prepared so when I have the flowers, they're not sitting and wilting in the basket. I've got a creek right outside my cabin where I can go to get the water I use for everything except for drinking. Then I go about 400 yards up the trail to collect some good spring water uh, for the wine itself and pack that down. Meanwhile, I've got a fire going in my stove to heat the water with. I've got a lot of bottles stored out in my old root cellar. I go out, gather those up, um, so I've got them cleaned and ready uh, when it comes time to bottle last year's wine. I've got my fruit all washed and um, grated and chopped and peeled and juiced. I first came to make dandelion wine back in 1998. I think of one of my favorite quotes, and that is, a weed is a plant whose use has not yet been discovered. I'd look out on my hay field in uh, the end of June, and the entire field was covered in dandelions. So I decided, rather than fight it, I would enjoy the benefits of my dandelions. And I go out into the field on a bright sunny day and look for the most delicious dandelion flowers I can find. The dandelions are mirroring the sun. What I'm looking for are fully opened flowers with lots of pollen that haven't yet started wilting. I can always tell when I'm in a, a really good patch because I'm competing with the bees for the flowers. As a person continues to pick dandelions, they develop an eye for what a perfect flower looks like. As it turns out, there's very few that are perfect. I pick about 10 quarts per batch and try to get a quart of uh, yarrow leaves to throw in as well. Once I've got all my ingredients gathered and prepared, um, now it's time to, to brew the tea. Somebody asked me, well, what does a dandelion taste like? And it's such an olfactory sense to me, like it really is all about how the dandelion smells. And so the gathering of the dandelions is very much that, I think, just sort of wallowing in the scent. I feel like usually the yeast has pretty much done its thing in six months, but I like to let it age for the better part of a year. Really, I've gotten now into the cycle of just leaving the wine in the carboys until the next year when I need the carboys. And then I'll take whatever wine is left and bottle it and then clean the carboys and have it for the next year's batch.
The input I've gotten from my friends has has really helped me over the years to uh, develop and modify my recipe. I love how you can taste the different things that she's put in there. <laughs> but the second one is really sweet and mellow. It's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. The 05 is best yet. You like the, prefer the 05 to the 07? The, I prefer to the 07. And, and now since I haven't tried any of these, have, I should be trying them with you so I have a reference. <laughs> right, but nobody had this. <laughs> the dandelion wine in the second jug is awesome. It's really tasty. Hmm. I'm about to taste the second bottle. Mm. Much lighter. Beautiful. It was really good. We went from the tart to the sweet, and we each have found a favorite. It is wonderful. It is Behind you with a devilish grin, take you out of canvas and bring you back.